Have you ever offered a product and people wanted it for free? Or have you ever been in an experience where you couldn't afford something? Hi, beloveds. My name is Tamala Malay, your Empowerment Priestess. And I help people master the art of choice and consequence so that they can create the life they desire. So why is it important to talk about fair energy exchanges? Well, first, a lot of people don't understand what it means. And if they don't understand what it means, they can't participate on purpose, which is where all empowerment comes from, doing things on purpose. So to define a fair energy exchange or fee, what does that mean? There is an exchange from the first energy source to the second or more energy sources, and then from them back to the first energy source. It completes a circuit. What are some real life energy exchanges? Well, here's a great example, watching a video training. So in this video training, I am the one that is initiating that energy exchange. And so I'm giving knowledge and information and clarity and empowerment, right? And then all of the people who are watching it are receiving that energy exchange. And so now they need to complete the circuit if they want to work in full power. And we're going to talk about that full power in a moment. But the exchange, the equitable exchange, would be liking the video, commenting on the video, sharing the video, right? Doing something to acknowledge the value of the content that was received. Because it's being put out, it's being received, and then once it's received, a comparable energy exchange is being given for value, right? It identifies the value that that person received from the energy that they received, right? Because everything is about value. And when I say value, it's not necessarily money, but it's about the exchange of value. And so the exchange of value comes in where there is money. Sometimes there's uh, an exchange of services or trades. Sometimes it's simply a like, a share, and a comment. But it always involves the continuation of the circuit. The, the first person, the second person, the second person to the first person. That's always how a fair energy exchange happens. So why do we need to know about this circuit, okay? Energy works in a circuit, whether it's electricity or any other kind of energy. And the circuit goes, like we said, from one person to the second person, from the second person back to the first person. If that's working, then the power is in the circuit. It's turned on, it's working. So the energy, the, the knowledge, the wisdom, the empowerment that's being gifted to you, being given to you, that's being received by you, then has power because it's being nourished by the reciprocation of the appreciation or the value. This is valuable for me. I like this. I want this in my life. Thank you. I'm going to subscribe to your channel. I'm going to like it. I'm going to like the video. I'm going to share the video with my friends. That, what that does is it tells the universe that the information that you received is valuable and it's something that you want to incorporate into your experience. But what happens if you don't close the circuit? This is where it gets interesting, and it's where a lot of people miss the idea of the fair energy exchange. So the first person initiates the exchange, right? They give the information, whatever it is. And so the second person receives it, but they don't do anything as a reciprocation. So what's happened is there's an open circuit, there's only one part of the circuit completed, right? It's just a C, it's not completed. So what happens? 
the information comes in, the person receives it, but there's no completion. So what that's telling the universe is, okay, I've got this, I've received it, it's not really important to me, I'm gonna just let it filter out. And that's really what happens. When we have experiences where there's not um, an equitable energy exchange, the problem with that is not just the person who gave is not receiving the benefit or the blessing of the giving, but it's also about the, the inability for that particular energy to have life in the receiver's experience because it's not being fed. It's not being valued in a way that the body understands, that the mind understands, that the emotions understand, or that the spirit understands. That's why we close the circuit. Because when the information comes into us, if we, we receive it and we value it and we go, wow, this is awesome, I love this. Here, I'm gonna like this, I'm gonna comment, I'm gonna subscribe, I'm gonna share. Then that gives it life and that value, that life, that empowerment, that fuel is going to continue to flow in and then you're going to be able to attract based on that, right? Your guides, your angels are gonna be able to bring more experiences to you that are like that because you've demonstrated that you value it. But what happens if you don't have that fair energy exchange? If it's not equitable, we're gonna talk about it in a minute. But what happens if you don't have that fair energy exchange? It comes in, you receive it, even if, it, even if it's really good information, right? It comes in and you go, yeah, I really like this, but you don't complete that action. You don't follow through and have that energy exchange. You don't make a donation. You don't like and share. You don't mm, pay money. If you don't complete that cycle, whatever that cycle is, then you're telling the universe, I got this information, I don't really wanna do anything with it. And so it's just gonna die because you're not feeding it. And so the universe is gonna say, oh, okay, that's not the kind of stuff that she wants. So they're not gonna bring more of that into your experience. When you have an open circuit, it kills the power. It's dead, there's no life in it. And so it can't serve you in your everyday experience. So why is money a good way to be equitably exchanging energy? Well, it's because in the way that the human has organized its existence right now is through money, right? We exchange things for money. And the first thing that we exchange for money is our life. And a lot of people forget this. We spend our time, our thoughts, our emotions, our physical resources, our mental and emotional resources on generating money. It has value to us. It has so much value that we're willing to give up a portion of our life in order to create it. And so we do that. And so it has really high, high value. And so any time that we then give money, this thing that we value really, really highly, to something outside of us, then we've placed a value on that thing outside of us. We have told the universe, this is important to me. And a lot of folks are under the delusion that paying for spiritual empowerment and spiritual development is a no-no. Oh, I shouldn't do that. You should be doing this work for free. We just talked about a fair energy exchange, right? If I'm doing the work for free and you're not giving back anything, then it's going to be dead in your life. It's not going to produce anything. There's not going to be any fruit there it's gonna be useless to you. But if you start investing your money, this thing that you value really highly, value so much that you give 
aspects or time out of your life to create it, you give that money to your spiritual pursuits and you're going to start seeing aspects of your life change in a huge way. Now, it doesn't mean you can just pay for programs and not do the work, but what will happen is when you start investing in sessions and readings and classes and courses and programs and workshops that are going to help you mentally, emotionally, spiritually, to empower you to learn how to be authentic, to learn how to align with who you are and be congruent with how you're designed, then the universe is going to be bringing you more opportunities to align and manifest and create and develop and evolve and up level because that's what you've shown them and you've shown the world that you value because you've invested your money in it. Remember, energy flows where your attention goes. So wherever you're giving your attention, you are outputting some level of energy. And make sure you're not just taking. Take, 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 take. Because what the universe gets from that is, oh, she likes taking. So we're going to bring people into her experience who take, 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 take. That's how it works. So you really want to be completing these circuits. Be in places that are going to give you empowerment and alignment and congruency and then reciprocate with a fair exchange. Now, that fair exchange is going to be identified by the giver. It could be asking you to like and share and comment and subscribe. It could be asking you for a donation, a love offering. It could be asking you to pay for the service. This is how much it costs. All of that is wonderful. All of that is empowering. So what is an equitable energy exchange? Well, that means that the values are equitable or close to equal. And that means that the value that you're giving will be equal to the value that you're receiving or the value that you're receiving is equal to the value that you're giving. And you have to decide that. I have lots of sessions that I do, 30 minute, 45, an hour, 90 minute, I have a five hour session. And I have set what that exchange, that energy is valued for me. I've determined this is what feels equitable to me for that. Now it may not feel equitable to you and that's okay, but that doesn't mean that I have to then give you my content, my courses, my workshops, my sessions at your rate. Because remember, the giver is the one that gets to define their rate. And if you don't like that rate, if it's too expensive for you, then number one, you don't have to do it. And number two, you need to really get inside and determine, is this an aspect of lack that I'm working with right here that's come up that I need to address? Or do I not value the content the same? Because if you're not going to value it as much as I do, it's not going to fuel you as much as it could. And if you're in a situation of lack and you are wanting the, the specific session, but maybe you can't afford it, then there are other aspects that you can do that will build you up to that. Because here's something else people forget. If you can't afford this, this amount of money, then this content is not going to be appropriate for you. You got to get the content and the steps that get you up there first. So don't feel bad about taking the classes or the workshops or the things that are less expensive because those things may be exactly what you need to get you to the point 
so that you can pay for the higher priced one-on-ones. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your support, and I hope that this has helped you understand a fair energy exchange. Let me know in the comments. Please like and share this video, and also subscribe and click that bell so that you get notified when I upload new videos every week.